For thousands of years, we've wondered how large the Earth is. Whether the Earth was flat or not, humans wondered how far it went. The ancient Greek scholar Eratosthenes, assuming that the Earth was a sphere, used careful timing and shadows to accurately approximate the Earth's size. Based in Egypt, his approach required measuring the distance between Alexandria and Syene, several hundred miles away. I want to show you how to find the Earth's size without any traveling. You just need to watch the sunset. Twice. Here's what you'll need. A tape measure, some paper and something to write with, and a stopwatch. You can use your phone. Here's what you need to do. Watch the sunset. Exactly when the sun goes below the horizon, start your timer. If you immediately climb to a higher location, you'll notice that you can see the top of the sun again. Watch the sunset once more and stop your timer when the sun passes beneath the horizon a second time. Now measure the difference in the height between the low position and the high position and call the difference H. Now you have all the data you need. This expression gives the radius of the Earth in miles if H is measured in feet, or this formula gives the radius in kilometers if H is measured in meters, with an elapsed time of 34.5 seconds and a height difference of 20 feet the formula says that the Earth's radius is about 3,948 miles, or 6,353 kilometers, very close to the accepted value. So where do these formulas come from? The first step is to use the elapsed time to calculate how much the Earth rotated. Since the Earth rotates once in 24 hours, or 86,400 seconds, the fraction of time change for the day equals the fraction of angular change for the circle. So t over 86,400 equals theta over 2 pi. We can easily solve for the angle theta. Now if the radius of the Earth is r and the change in height is h, the figure shows that cosine of theta equals r over r plus h. This can be algebraically rearranged to produce this formula for r in terms of theta. We can insert our value of theta directly into this formula, but let's approximate the term so that we can avoid trig functions. For small angles, always in radians, cosine of theta is approximately 1 minus theta squared over 2. So by replacing the top cosine with 1 and the bottom cosine with 1 minus theta squared over 2, we get r equals 2h over theta squared. Substituting in the value of theta from before produces the desired formulas. Well, not quite. The formula works assuming two important conditions are met. First, you need to be located on the equator, otherwise you're finding the radius of this smaller circle. Second, the date needs to be one of the two equinoxes, either around March 20th or September 23rd. The sun sets vertically on these dates, not at an angle. It's remarkable that by doing measurements under the appropriate conditions, just a little bit of math lets you find the size of the Earth, and without walking across Egypt. <laughs>